If you love looking up at the night sky, then July 2025 is going to be awesome. Before we jump in, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and share so you don't miss any cool space events coming up. So let's talk about the moon phases and planets you can see this July. The first quarter moon happens on July 2nd. That means the moon looks like a half circle, and it rises around noon and sets at midnight. You'll see it high in the sky once it gets dark. Then, on July 5th, the moon is farthest from Earth this month. It won't look super different, but it's cool to know it's at its farthest point. Let's talk about planets now. In the evening sky, two planets are visible. Mercury is at its best on July 3rd. You can find it low in the western sky just after sunset. It looks like a tiny bright dot. Mars, the red planet, will be higher in the sky and will set before midnight. Now in the morning sky, you'll see bright Venus and Saturn during the first few weeks of July. They shine really nicely before sunrise. And guess what? On July 10th, we'll have the full moon, also called the buck moon. It's called that because deer or bucks grow their antlers around this time. The buck moon will shine all night and it'll be near a group of stars called the teapot of Sagittarius. It's a great night to go outside and just stare at the moon for a while. Then on the mornings of July 15th and 16th, the moon will be close to Saturn, and by mid-July Jupiter starts rising in the morning sky too. So now you'll have Venus, Saturn, and Jupiter all hanging out together before the sun comes up. If you have a telescope or binoculars, you might also spot Uranus and Neptune nearby. They're harder to see but it's a fun challenge. By the middle of the month, Mercury fades away from the evening sky. That means Mars is the only planet you'll see once it gets dark at night. On July 18th, we'll have the last quarter moon. That one rises around midnight and sets around noon. Try looking up in the morning sky and see if you can spot it after sunrise. Now here's something really special. On the morning of July 20th, the moon will pass in front of a star cluster called the Pleiades. That's called an occultation, and it's super cool to watch if you have binoculars. You'll see the stars disappear behind the moon like magic. Also nearby you'll see Venus, the orange star Aldebaran and the Hyades star cluster. It's like a whole party in the sky. Then the moon will line up with Venus again on July 22nd and float near Jupiter on July 23rd. These make great photos if you love space photography. The new moon happens on July 24th, which means we'll have super dark skies. That's perfect for watching stars and even meteor showers like the Delta Aquarius, which will be active around this time. Finally, on the night of July 28th, the waxing crescent moon will be near Mars again. It's a nice way to end the month with another pretty view in the sky. So that's what's up in the sky this July. I hope you get a chance to go outside, look up and enjoy these amazing sights.